Hi, I'm Robbie Bolo with BYU TV Sports. We're here at the BYU Broadcasting Building, which on July 12th will be Media Day Central for BYU football. Let's take a look inside. We're here in the lobby of the BYU Broadcasting Building, which tomorrow will be the breakout area for the print media. They will be here to interview athletes and coaches and write their stories and do all of their Media Day activities. And right next to this lobby is the crown jewel of the BYU Broadcasting Building, Master Control. Six television properties and six radio properties are all broadcast out of this room. And during the live shows on Media Day, they will be broadcast straight from this facility worldwide. We're standing in one of the three control rooms at BYU Broadcasting. There are two here in this building that are identical and the third one on the remote production truck that we nicknamed Big Blue. All three of these will uh, produce plenty of BYU sports. And during media day, these control rooms will be used during the live shows that will be broadcast from this building, including the uh, state of the program with Tom Homo and Bronco Mendenhall and a Legends Roundtable with head coach Lavelle Edwards, Steve Young, Ty Detmer, and others. This is one of the green rooms where football players past and present will come and wait. While they're being interviewed, they can watch the shows happening live on this TV, kick back, take a drink, get some refreshment, and get ready for their uh, interviews that they will do with, uh, could be BYU TV, ESPN, or any of the other media entities that will be here during media day. We're working backwards of the three studios here at the BYU Broadcasting Building. This is the third one, creatively named Studio C, with retractable seating available for a studio audience, or in the case of Media Day, for the media. Members of the media would be able to sit here and ask questions during the live shows in the morning with Bronco Mendenhall and Tom Homo, and in the afternoon with the Legends Roundtable featuring head coach Lavelle Edwards and several players. Just down the hall from Studio C are Studios A and B. Studio B, also known as the True Blue Studio. This is where True Blue is filmed every week for BYU TV. And for Media Day, will be used primarily as a live studio for ESPN. The various shows that they do throughout the day, Sports Center, College Football Live, and others. There will be players and coaches who will be on set here for live interviews for ESPN. And right across the hallway is Studio A, which will be used by the local TV media. They'll set up their cameras and their sets to be able to do interviews with players and coaches to get the information and content that they need for their media day coverage. We're on the second floor now, and on the west side is where radio is, and this is where all of our local talk radio will be for media day. In addition to the live programming on BYU TV of BYU Football Media Day, there will be live web chats with several players and a coach or two that will happen on BYUtv.org. They will be here and fans like you will be able to submit questions for the players and those will happen at two different times during Media Day. And Brandon Doman and a couple players will even do one in Spanish. Three conference rooms on the east side of the second floor of this building will be used as a media workroom where media can come to get some refreshments or sit down and write their stories, blog, tweet, or do whatever it is that the media feel like doing during media day. Thanks for joining me on this quick tour of the BYU Broadcasting Building and be sure to tune in on media day to all the coverage and because of the permanent nature of the internet, if you're not watching this till after media day, be sure to go to BYUtv.org and watch archive shows and all the coverage from Media Day.